A rise in rattlesnake sightings and encounters on Utah trails. A local expert new, took news specialist Lauren Steinbrecher to one of the spots where reports are coming in right now. Lauren, what did you learn? Yeah, Dan and Debbie. So I learned that rattlesnakes are making an appearance a little bit later this year in the season than normal, but they are out right now in places, including up here in Mill Creek Canyon. That's where we went out today, and that expert shared some very important safety tips. As the trail name suggests, we just ran into a snake. A rattlesnake? Hikers will likely come across. I don't think it was a rattlesnake. Oh, okay. Um, but it was a pretty big one. Snakes of some sort. Kim Beck. Oh my goodness. Has been hearing about them. You're smart to keep her on leash. Hiking up to where she's getting reports of rattlesnakes. Like in Mill Creek Canyon. The second right fork a pipeline had, somebody reported a huge one. She says the calls are picking up lately. It's a little bit later this year because our... We had the never-ending winter this year, <laughs> so it took the snakes a little longer to come out. With her tools and bucket, Beck responds to both trails and homes. I will remove the snake and take it someplace, similar environment that would be safe for it, you know, away from people, um, and just turn it loose again. We want to keep people safe and their dogs safe, but I also want to keep the snakes safe. While she's an expert at spotting rattlesnakes to remove and relocate them, she urges hikers. Hello, did any of you see rattlesnakes while you were out? No. Yeah, no okay. snakes? To learn about them too. Stay aware of your surroundings. Watch where you put your hands and feet. The snakes like to hang out in little crevices like this, or this would be a great place you know, underneath trees and bushes. And if you come across one, it's illegal to kill a rattlesnake. Don't approach or try to catch it. Leave it alone, go way around it. If it's hanging around your home or across the trail, she's happy to come handle it. A lot of people think a rattlesnake is gonna chase you down and attack you. They don't do that. Uh, most of them try to get away. Yeah, and uh, Beck will actually hand out these little cards that have little uh, rattlers on them uh, to keep people safe and educated. She offers canine aversion training, very helpful if you're hiking out with a dog. She also says if you're going in places like Rattlesnake Gulch at Mill Creek Canyon, just better to keep the dog on a leash. Dan and Debbie. All right, it's a lot of good tips there. Thanks a lot, Lauren.